Spy Cleaning Business in Durham lost its A-plus rating uh, with the Better Business Bureau today after we called with concerns from customers. That's right. Some of those customers say they're closed. They have been in Wayne's uh. Cleaners for months. And as our Derek Lewis found out tonight, it could still be some time before they get their things back. Right now, the Better Business Bureau is investigating this cleaners here on Fayetteville Street. There hasn't been an owner or worker here all day today. One customer I talked to says her dress has been here since November. Clothes are hanging up, papers are still on the counter, but the lights are out and the doors are locked. Amelia Barnum, who was a customer at Wayne's Cleaners for years, dropped off this dress in November, which she says is worth more than $100. When I picked up the dress, it had a hole in the back. They used too much heat on the dress because the material is very sensitive. And she told me to leave the dress so when her uh, boss come in so that he could look at it. She hasn't seen it since. Court documents show Zamar Incorporated, a company affiliated with Wayne's Cleaners, hasn't paid rent since December. In April, M.M. Fowler Incorporated sued Zamar Incorporated for $18,000 because of non-payment. The court then ordered the sheriff's office to padlock the building. But none of this matters to Barnum. I want my dress. A notice on the door says, we appreciate your patronage over the years. We have decided to close operations. Please leave a note and someone will get back in touch with you. I've left several notes in the door. No one has responded. All I want is my dress. We made calls to the number on the receipt, Zaymore Incorporated and M.M. Fowler Incorporated. No one answered any of our calls. Please, please show up and do right by the people. Give them their merchandise. The sheriff's office says the owners of this property can unlock the doors at their discretion. In this case, M.M. Fowler Incorporated. We'll continue to make the calls and follow up with this story. In Durham, I'm Derek Lewis, CBS North Carolina.